The philosopher Pythagoras said, salt is born of the purest parents, the sun and the sea. The salt road leads from Marsala to Trapani, where some of Europe's oldest salt marshes are still actively in use. Trapani's extended and arid summers encourage the natural evaporation process for salt extraction. Salt extraction can be traced back to the ancient Egyptians. The salt flats throughout Sicily hail back to Romans and Greeks, and the salt flats in Trapani are traced back to a Phoenician heritage. The traditional methods from ages past are still fully functioning today. The flats are filled with sea brine in the early spring and then left to the devices of the dry African winds, combining with the blistering Sicilian sun. The actual salt harvests in Trapani begin around July and finish by September. Windmills were once used to drain the marshes, blowing the water from one segmented area to another. Today the harvesting and extraction are done by hand. The methods pass from one generation of salt miners to the next. Wheelbarrows transport the sea salt chunks into piles, which then get crushed without refining. A traditional part of salt collection involves two important roles the master of the salt and the counter. The master of the salt sings out rhymes and numbers to tally the wheelbarrow load, and the counter defines the rhythm by pounding nails into a board to keep the beat. Sicilian sea salt is high in demand thanks to its uniquely natural qualities. It's unwashed. It's unrefined. It's unaltered from its organic states. It also has less sodium chloride with more brine and mineral flavoring magnesium, potassium, and fluorine. Windmills may no longer be the draining source, but they add a rich visual history and beauty to accentuate the stark reflection of Trapani's salt marshes. Where would we be without salt, as James Beard said? <laughs>